Hey guys, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program where I'm scanning the sky for the moon because I wanted to use it as a visual aid, but no, that's not going to work. But that's alright because having looked at our science and what, what parts we have available to us, I don't think we can do a moon mission today. Uh, in, um, specifically, we don't have either the fuel lines or any sort of docking control. Um, and especially the extra sciencey bits. This is this is also something else that I would like. But because we can't get them, we're just going to have to take something. Now uh, the main question is: Do I want the radial fuel tank, uh, the radial engines, and the bigger fuel tanks, or do I want support struts? I'm going to go with the radial engines and the uh, and the tanks here, and that gives us fuel lines right there. So we our mission today is to get 90 science. Now, I think we can do that from Minmus. Um, oh, I didn't want to go in the space plane. Anyone else having troubles uh, clicking the right spot? Oh, wow, that was loud. Anyone else having troubles kicking the, clicking the right spot for the uh, mission control room? I keep hitting either the VAB or the space plane hangar. I just always seem to miss that bit. All right, so let's have a look. Do we have a Minmun thing? We don't. So it looks like exploring the Mun is actually our next next contract that we have to take which is a little bit annoying um, okay so let's find all the from space stuff so we can do scientific data from space uh, stuff that we can do possibly possibly we want to do stuff from landed but I'm not sure about that we're gonna go rescue a Kerbal that should get us some nice science as well um, see exploring the Mun would be ideal but we just we just don't have the bits um, all right, well, so escape trajectory out of Kerbin on flight, escape, decoupler orbiting. Wow, okay. Uh, see, that's the one we kind of can do. So let's, let's get that. Small gear bay tested around. Uh, and what else have we got? My, everything else is in flight or landed. Let, let's try that one because that's probably going to be useful. Yeah, yeah, I know, Gene. Straight up. And I think that's all the ones we can do straight away. As I say, we can't get to the moon with the science we've got. We need we need docking and we need fuel lines. So let's get in the VAB and have a look at what we can do and how we're going to do it. All right, so down on the contracts, this is the first thing we should... Have. Is there a way to extend this out? There's not, is there? Right, so I've still not done... Oh, wait, no, that is the one. Okay, so we need to rescue two Kerbals, which should be nice and easy. Uh, we've got to try, test the stability launch enhance, enhancer, yep, uh, and transmit some science. Right, so we need to make a, a triple pod. I think we need a triple pod. Uh, I don't have any way of making this a nice easy triple pod though. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this one here, and we're going to pop this one. I don't really want to pop it just straight underneath because this leaves me with you know, only really one option to put this on here, and that's... I'm not sure if I like that, in all honesty, just like, you know, but you know, we'll, we'll, we'll work with it, we'll see what we can do. I mean, like, can we pop this in between the two, make a double, make a double, um, perhaps get this on as well, and something like that. Do you reckon we can make a, a spaceship that looks roughly like this? I think that's going to be all sorts of trouble. Let's try this another way. Um, let's get these on here. We swap them around like this, maybe. Oh, if we could go straight down like that. Oh, am I about to make some sort of like do-it-yourself splitting system? Hopefully. Oh, do-it-yourself splitting systems are good. Oh, look at this. The real question is, can I fit double fuel tanks underneath? Uh, we just want a small one like this, right? No, I can't. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this down just a little bit, so they're a little bit further apart, like that. Can we do that? Is this right? Oh, it is. It's beautiful. Oh, look at that. New spaceship design on the go. I <laughs> I'm not overly convinced. This bit here looks weak as hell. But that's all right. We'll, we'll do something about that. We have science things that we can do now. This is the other thing. Uh, maybe if we take these off and put science on underneath, we can strap them to the side and do other amazing things. Because we, we want science from space. We don't. We don't need the. We don't need the goo. We we just need the material science from space, don't we? Okay, so let's try that. Oh, is this not going to go on like that? Do you not like it? There we go. 
yeah, that's good. All without part clipping as well, I should point out. Like, this, this, this is good. Let me just double check that. Yeah, yeah, no, this is good. It's, it's all off. Good. Okay, so we need uh, some sort of communicatron. Uh, we only want one of those. So I go and make two. Yes, of course. How, how would that not be what I'm doing? And we want it pointed upwards. So we can get crew reports from space. That's the science we are going to do from space. Um, as well as the, the utility bay and stuff like that. Uh, we also have the utility bay, the, the materials bay. I know exactly what I'm talking about. Do not question me. Um, we're going to put two on here. And two on here. And just for good measure, two on here. Yeah, I'll make it back safe. Right? Surely. Uh, right, a bit of, bit of testing that needs to be done. That wants to be tested in orbit. We're going to put this down to... No, down to doubles. Yeah, this. Yeah, this 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 looks perfect. Look at look at look at the testing platform. Isn't it amazing? Um, the stability launch enhancer we can do from bottom. This is where we're gonna grab them from here. Small gear bay. TT38K radial decoupler. Do we have that? TT38K radial decoupler. We want to test that in space. So what we actually really want to do. Oh wow, look, 85 to no Oh wow. Okay, so that's that's like our last bit we want to do. So maybe we can um, stick these here and here and we'll put our launch stage on that. Right? Sound, sounds sounds good? It doesn't at all sound like crack polish and like it'll never work. Uh, <laughs> but let's find out. Let's just see what happens. Um, what what is the worst that could happen, eh? We killed Jebediah, Bill and Bob. That, that's the worst. Well, we're not we're not going to take Bill and Bob with us. This is very important. We're just we're just taking Jeb. Because, um, well, we're going to go rescue people. That's why. Okay, this looks like a, an efficient launching stage. <laughs> um, okay, so we go out there. Uh, what what should we call it? Uh, I want to say rescue and test, and unless we come up with something better than that. That's what we're gonna have. Um, yeah. Okay. Right. What else do we want? Well, we want an entire lifting platform underneath this. This this is kind of our high altitude burn. I'm not sure if we've got too many rockets for the number of engine, uh, uh, too many engines for the amount of fuel tanks. I've got a feeling these engines are going to be like ridiculously heavy. Uh, but we'll we'll do all right. Let's make a ridiculously heavy launch stage. Which I'm starting to think I should have taken the structural supports for. Uh, if we're going to do something like this. Or can we fit a launch stage in here, do you reckon? I'm not feeling overly confident, but let's see what happens. I reckon we can fit... Oh, excuse me. Fit another, another couple of these in here. Why wouldn't that one fit? Should we see what happens on the other side? Ah, how very unusual. Let's just pop it on the bottom and take the engine off and see if we can... Uh, just attach fuel tanks because you know if we can attach fuel tanks we can attach more <laughs> so something like this the staging is going to be a nightmare on this oh wow look they pivot it outwards a little bit mm. oh well this is what we're this is what we're faced with let's do it what's the worst that could happen eh? <laughs> Uh, and now we want to try and fit as many solid boosters as we can on here. Though I don't... I'm not overly convinced that this is enough engines. Uh, not engines, fuel. Well, I just don't think this is a good design plan. A uh, good design plan. Um, I'm supposed to, I know I'm supposed to be like all full of joys for it, but look, look at what I've made. <laughs> is this going to work? I have no idea. Uh, structural. Let's put some more... More solid boosters on there because you know they're always the thing you want, right? Um, yeah, just snatch them from here, and hopefully, instead of colliding and exploding, everything pressing together will mean that it just holds itself in place, right? Surely, I mean, how could that not be the case? Somewhere around here is the bit I want. Come here. There we go. All right, that, that's shockingly going to have to do. I, I I don't even know if this will make it up to orbit, in all honesty. Uh, so we want the engines at the bottom. 
do want these, want these ones. And then maybe we want these going off at some point. This is all this lot. So when they're done, we want these to burst. Um, and then there's this whole confusing mess of what's going on up here. Uh, which we may or may not want to fire at the same time. Let's pop these down here because the whole plan is to get rid of this bit before these fire or at least fire these and then drop these and then we'll test the radial decouplers when we're in orbit right well that's the small gear bay yeah that's not this one and 85 right what's the what's the overlap yeah 85 kilometer orbit okay we, we can aim for 85 all right let's let's do this I, th I think I think we got everything. Ah, these these are important. Like so very important. I have no idea whether we're going to collect up the ninety science that we need today. Um, I would love to do it in one one bash, but I know the whole lack of actual scientific um, targets is a, is a little bit a little bit disheartening with this one. All right, anyway, let's go. All right, it's a nighttime launch. Wish me luck, guys. We're going for an 85 kilometer orbit. <laughs> Again, I'm not overly convinced this is going to do well, but um, there you go. Right, we've done a contract already. Good work. We're just going to head up. Oh, wow, look at that little little oscillation already. This, this is going to mean that we're going to uh, have issues. I think having issues is, is, a, is a fair term. Um, I would like to start leaning over a little bit, just, just, just a little bit. And I also want to put those gear bay away. There we go. I'm not sure how we're supposed to test these in orbit because it says on most of the contracts that we're supposed to uh, like activate them in, in here, in the staging somehow. Uh, at least that's, that's how it works for the engines and I've not seen anything different for anything else. Um, like particularly the decouplers, they're also exactly the same. All right, talking of decouplers, here we go. Uh, three, two, one. Full throttle. Uh, of oh, look at that terrible oscillation. That is going to end up killing me. Just, just straight up death is coming, right? You, you can feel it. I can feel it. Uh, we're going to ease over just a little bit in the vain hope that it's not going to smash my engines to pieces. Um, maybe we're losing speed like you would not believe I think it might be time to uh, fire up those other engines soon um, maybe if we wait until these tanks are empty uh, oh we're gaining speed again we're gaining speed again so we must be past the uh, the fuel to engine ratio that we need um, but this yeah no this does not feel great at all uh, yeah let's fire go there we go, more more speed. More speed is the key. Uh, been told that most weekends as it goes. All right, so let's look down. Let's see if we can see the floor. The floor is miles away. Uh, the debris is dropping past two and a half kilometers. Has something changed? I'm sure they were supposed to, to uh, disappear at two and a half kilometers. Interesting, interesting, Some something of note. Uh, right, let's check how our orbit's going. We may or may not be getting close enough to them. Um, this is the orbit that the Kerbals are at, I presume. Uh, there's Vrangen. We're going to set him as target. I, I really have no idea how you're supposed to pronounce that. Um, right, we've got an intersect, so we're going to stop. We're going to wait until we get up to the intersect, and then we're going to fire for all we are worth. Um, and hopefully bring a good intersect down at some point. We're gonna gonna go a little bit further. Uh, this apoapsis is far too high, isn't it? We've got testing to do. Uh, right, so we're gonna make it so my periaps is nice and low. That's the easiest play, easiest way of doing this, and then we'll just kind of wing it from there, I suppose. Where, where is my periaps? Come on. Nope, I've gone well past it. That's apoaps. I was looking for a blue line, of course, because I'm a bit of a knob. Okay, um, periaps up to 47. Why is this so so squiffy? Let's put this over here, and we might might get the periaps we're after. There we go. 67, 
We're looking for 80 odd, right? 85, perfect. Perfect. I don't know whether we're going to be able to perfectly hit that mark, but we will try. I mean, this is what Kerbal Space Program is all about. It's trying this sort of thing. Right, we've got a minute to go until we need to make a 30 second burn. So we're just going to time warp for a couple of seconds. Um, hopefully not go screwing past it. We're going to just ease the engines up a little bit. And I appear to be a little bit off balance. When I put my engines on, I kind of started rotating a bit more. But here we go. Um, let's, let's get rid of this manoeuvre node. Who, who needs this, actually? I just wanted to for timing. Okay, so we're going to slam this up as high as we go and watch the G-force meter, because when that stops going up, we've lost... Uh, well, not stops going up. When this stops being so harsh, we've lost our bottom fuel tanks. Oh, look at this. Is that my next next thing? It's a shame we're never going to actually see each other. Okay, so pop that up. Wait for the... Uh, wait for these bottom ones to burn out, like so. Deploy those. Realise that my staging is completely messed up here. So we're going to do that. Okay, we're going to see what we've got on the orbital map. Oh, that's terrible. What have I been doing here? Okay. So, we want him as target again. And we're going to push our periaps up to, what was it, 80 odd miles, uh, 80 odd kilometres? Wow, look at that G-force shoot up. Oh, we out of fuel. We're not actually out of fuel, are we? We are actually out of fuel. So what we're going to have to do is wait for our 85 kilometer window. And whilst I wait for that altitude and the correct test conditions, I'm afraid you're going to have to wait till tomorrow to find out how I get over this. Because this episode rattled on for a bit and I've decided that the best plan would be split up into two. So we'll see you tomorrow when we're going to finish this mission. Bye!